So today is Success Sunday. We figured what a better topic to talk about uh -huh. than how to get what you want this year. Last year, everything, everything me and Calvin said that we wanted was manifested. That's right. We got the perfect four bedroom house That's right. that we wanted. We wrote down a magical number that we wanted our mortgage yeah, to and be. And we got it. We got it. We met our savings goal. <laughs> yes. We got thousands on YouTube. And we also got our ultimate manifestation. Yes, we did. We pregnant. <laughs> So you cannot tell us that manifesting whatever you want in this life is not real. Anybody can do it. Including you. So if you want to see this year how uh, you can manifest anything you want, stick around. Uh, don't go nowhere. Yes, indeed. <laughs> What's up guys? This is Monique. And this is Calvin and welcome back to the channel. Yes. First and foremost, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> so with the new year comes new opportunities yes. for you to have everything you want in this life. Everything. So we're about to get into how we manifest everything we want. Unfortunately, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there is absolutely no magic involved in manifesting what you want in life. As mm. much as you want to twitch your nose and make things appear, <laughs> it does not work like that. And don't feel bad, I was upset when I found out too, but it's just, I mean, it is what it is. So let's get into what manifesting actually is. So the Greek word for manifest is phaneras. Phaneras. <laughs> no, Fanera. Don't even worry about it. So, <laughs> what Faneras means is to become visible, mm. to be able to see, wow. to appear. So, what we are doing when we manifest things is we are taking our hopes, our desires, wow. our dreams, we're taking our thoughts, and with our actions, Plus God, of course. Mm -hmm. We are making them become visible. We are bringing them into reality, mm. which means that they are now tangible. Mm. We wow. can wow. see, touch, feel it. So I'm sure you're wondering, how do I manifest what I want? Like, mm -hmm. how do I do mm -hmm. it? Uh -huh. So we're gonna tell you everything you need to know about how we manifest what we want. The very first thing that we do on this manifestation journey is we start by visualizing Visual. what we want. Yes. We visualize it so much so that it feels like we're actually there mm -hmm. when we're seeing it. So when we begin manifesting our house, we actually begin to visualize the four bedrooms that's in it. I mean, eyes closed, actually seeing ourselves in the rooms, walking around yeah. the room. We saw the kitchen island. We saw the bathroom with the garden tub and a separate shower. We saw the huge closet, yeah. the floors, the garage. I mean, we literally saw everything Every that we wanted in the house. I don't know about you, but have you ever prayed for something? You got what you prayed for, but it didn't turn out to be the, the thing that you actually wanted. I definitely have. Yeah, yeah. Remember that little job that I prayed and fast for? That's right. And I got exactly. it. And I was miserable with That's it. That's exactly right. Yeah, it happened to me. You know why? Because when I prayed, I just asked for a job. I didn't yeah. ask for nothing specific exactly. about the job. I was like, Lord, I just need a job. And guess what I got? <laughs> just a job. And that's why you have to be very specific about what you want. Yes, indeed. Woo! Yes, you do. So after we visualize in our minds exactly what we want, mm -hmm. the next step is to write everything down. You have to write the vision down and make it plain. This is the very first point that you actually take what you had in your mind and you put it on paper. This is the first time it becomes physical in this world. And that's the difference between an idea and a goal. We all have ideas that go through our head throughout mm -hmm. the day. The only thing that cements an idea in our hearts is if we write it down. Because if you keep ideas in your head, then you are less likely to really commit to them. That's right. It's less likely to make you focused on them. It's less likely to keep you motivated. So that's the whole idea of why you write it down. Because when you write it down, you run to it. That's right. When you write it down, it keeps that fire lit inside of you to make you go after what you're trying to go after. So that's why it's so important. And if you look at my phone right now, I think I have over 2,000 notes. 
yeah. in my phone. Cause I write to look. I don't care if I wanna start chewing more bubble gum in a day. I'ma mm -hmm. write it down. And you don't have to write it in your phone. You can write it in a computer. Mm -hmm. You can write it in a notebook. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you write it down. Yes, that's very important. After you write it down, you have to make a plan. Yes. I told you before that manifesting is not magic. You can't just think yourself into a house. You can't right. just think yourself pregnant. You actually have to do some work. Mm -hmm. And in order for you to do the work, you need a plan to do it, right? Just having faith is mm -hmm. not enough. That's right. It requires you to do some work as well. Yes. So we have to figure out what we can do mm -hmm. to bring the things that we want to us. So again, that's why it's so important to make that plan. Yeah. So that to. you can get it. So at this point, we visualize it. Mm -hmm. We've written it down. Mm -hmm. We made a plan. Yes. So what else should we do? Well, you know what we have to do now? Practice. That's it. Practice. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. So you know what I mean by practice? I mean going to that mansion that you want. That's right. Test driving that car that you want. You know, when we were looking into getting our house, we would drive to that subdivision often, right? Yeah, yeah we would. And we would go out to eat places that were around that area so we could familiarize ourselves right. with the area. You know, we were trying to get connected with what we wanted. So after that, we started speaking it as if it existed. Yes, that's right. Me and Monique would act as if we were pregnant uh -huh. before we even were. That's right. Remember, you put your hand on my belly that's and right. I will make my stomach move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell him it was the baby kicking, you know? Yeah, yes. So we would really start to speak those things. I'll ask him, do you hear the baby's heart That's beat? right. And all of those things had us really connected mm -hmm. to what we wanted in the place that we wanted to be. Yes, that's right. And even like when it came to the house, we would tell people, oh yeah, we're getting ready to move soon. That's right. That was before we had the credit score to yeah. do it, before we had the savings to do it, before we even went and talked to the mortgage company. That's right. We started to speak it and we started to say it. Now you don't go tell everybody in business because some people be praying against you, but at the end of the day, you still speak it. We think that when people say that we can't have it, it's always a bad thing. Sometimes we need that little nudge. You know, as a kid, when somebody told you you can do something, mm -hmm. you said, all right, well, look, I can't do it, okay, I'm gonna prove you wrong. <laughs> you know? and, and, and sometimes it drives you. Mm -hmm. We never gave up. Never. We never stopped believing. Never. Belief is one of the most powerful tools that we have. That's absolutely right, baby. Big things can happen if you believe. That's right. Always remember your faith is your most important tool. That's right. It's not enough to just say you want it either. Right, you got right. to feel it. Right, you know, right. it's a difference with saying, oh, I want something versus you like really feeling like, right, oh my goodness, right. I want this thing. Because when you get that feeling, that's what drives you to go and get right, it. Right, right, exactly. You know? So after doing all these things, mm -hmm. the things that we wanted just begin to manifest. That's right. We walked the walk mm -hmm. and talked the talk That's right. until it became our reality. That is absolutely right. And it may not have happened exactly at the time right. we wanted. Like for the house, I think we wanted to move in by August. It ended up being September, mm -hmm. you know, so it was a little bit of a delay, a small delay, but right. nonetheless, we still were able to manifest everything we want. So that's the process that we use to manifest whatever we want. That's right. And we hope that you found this helpful. If you have dropped it down in the comments below yes, and let indeed. us know this year we are going after everything else we want and then some go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and turn on those notification bells so you don't miss any of the great videos because i promise you all 2021 long we don't have nothing <laughs> but great videos that's right so make sure y'all join us on this ride because not only are we going to have great videos but we going everywhere in life together and all we do is win. So thanks so much for watching, guys. And until next time, see you later. See you later. Peace. Peace. <laughs>